Well, Mondays here on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the farm organization called the Alliance for the Future of Agriculture in Nebraska, or APFAN. October is pork month here in the state, and today APFAN is connecting us with the Nebraska Pork Producers Association. Joining us now is Jane Stone. Always nice to have you, Jane. Good morning. Happy pork month. Yes. yes. Of course, we love pigs, you and bet. so we want to talk about pork month today. Why is it so important to Nebraska? Well, you know, the pork industry in Nebraska and all the things associated with it, all the trickle down, it's worth about $6.11 billion to Nebraska in economic activity. That's that's a lot of impact. So mm -hmm. that's why it's important to Nebraska. I know we are a leading pork state, right? Yeah, we, we are, are like, I think 10? we're number, yeah, we're in the top 10. I think we're at, you know, it fluctuates a lot. I think we're at about number six right now. Mm -hmm. so. Wow, you know, I was reading, you were giving us some of the, uh, some of the, the numbers yes. and 17,000, Maybe almost 18,000 yep, 18, jobs, jobs yes. produced uh, or made through the pork yep. industry. That's amazing. That's amazing, yes. And, you know, some of those are, a lot of those are rural jobs on farm. And um, so those are often tough, tough to come by. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, a lot of jobs. Okay, so we're, there's a focus I know on giving back. So yes. talk about that. Um, you know, one of the coolest things I get to do in my job is, you know, we, we use the checkoff to promote pork. Um, but we also, one of our we care pillars in the in the pork industry is giving back to our communities. And that's a big priority to our producers. In fact, it's been a little tough in the industry, you know, in the last 18 months or so, a lot of producers losing up to $30 a head. Um, but even in spite of all that, our producers have said, continue to give back to our communities. In fact, increase that giving, um, which I think is super generous and speaks highly of our producers. But, you know, we do like the Taste of Elegance competition in Omaha. We just wrapped that up. That's a fundraiser for com Completely Kids. Um, they do just almost a thousand backpacks every single weekend for food insecure children in downtown Omaha. Um, Cumulatively, this is our 15th year. Um, it's raised right around $3.2 million. Um, this year, we, we were right, at, right around 280,000. So, um, you know, that's a big event for us. Um, we also do give a ham at Christmas. We do maybe, a, it depends on the year and our budget, but between 15 and $20,000 worth of um, hams that we distribute all across Nebraska, heavy in Lincoln and Omaha, but we are continue to spread that. So that's, you know, maybe something that people don't realize that we do in Nebraska that's part of our check off and those sponsorships and very important to our producers mm -hmm. to give back to our communities. Yeah, I know the producers love being a part of that and doing that and giving back. Uh, I know you mentioned the markets not being really great. Uh, do you see that turning around for producers in the near future? You know, unfortunately, we've been in, uh, in a, we're kind of, you know, back in the black here. We have been for a little bit, but coming into fall, it's not looking so great again. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a bummer. We It was really rough there for about 18 months and we kind of saw some light at the end of the tunnel for a little bit and now it's maybe we're sliding back down again. So mm -hmm. it always does uh, go back and forth. It I does, know. Yes. I know. So you just got to hang mm -hmm. on through the bad times, yes. I guess. So. All, right. All right. Jane, thanks for coming thanks in. Thanks very much.